Come on, put... You're learning fast! Let's see, I don't think I've talked to everyone. How are things? I can't complain. Say, are you new around here? I've only just arrived. Gothic games are good once you get feel of the controls. I love Gothic controls. Hi, how's it going? I'm dead on my feet, man. I've been working for two days without a single break. Harlock should have taken over ages ago. It's always the same with that guy. He's probably lying in his hut, fast asleep. Why don't you just go there and give him a right kick in the butt? Can't leave here while Baloran is in charge. The work has to be done either way. But you could go there for me. He's staying right under Cor Column's alchemy lab. At Fortuno's. Tell him to get his butt over here. Uh, you can get this game on Steam or GOG. I'm playing a GOG version. Okay, I did talk to this guy. Hey, you! You're in trouble. That's how it goes. Gorim sent me. I'm not what? All this blathering anymore. Mm, that wasn't very clever. I'm here to remind you that you're to take Let's over from him. That's very nice of you. Remind me again when I'm through sleeping. Yeah. Get your ass to the weed mashers, or you'll be for it. Just try to mess with me again, sucker. Let's talk about something else instead. Put the weapon down! Clever boy. I just wanted to remind you to take your pal's place now. Listen, I told you to get lost. I think so, as long as I'm not involved. A fight! Good! Good! Clear winner, I'd say! Try that again, and you'll regret it. go rushing into anything. Thanks for the ore, you hero. He took my money. Am I nameless? I am. He 
shouldn't believe everything you hear. What do you in- Clear winner, I'd say! I'll take my money back, thank you. And your axe. You'll be sorry for that. Get out. Looking for trouble again? Well, do you feel like giving your pal a break now? You damn pain in the butt. Why do you have to meddle in my affairs? I just want to see you mashing. Okay, okay. I'm on my way, sucker. Get out of the way, man. Did you kill him? No, you... You can't just kill humans in this game. When you beat them, they just lie down, trying to get up, and while they lie down, then you have to finish them off if you want to kill them. I'm not listening to all that blathering. That have been cleared up ages to be in his shoes, though. There was a time when things would have gone down. That isn't the case for all enemies. Like animal, you always kill animals. You always kill uh, humans that are considered enemies. But uh, friendly or neutral humans, they always lie down when you beat them. I've come to collect my daily ration. Here, take it. Three of the Northern Dark. But don't smoke them all at once. If they beat you, it's also the same. You're just lying down in pain while they loot you, loot your money. They can also loot your money and your weapon, the one that you're using. And it's fun. That's ever life story I did talk to this guy. There must be something about that story after all. I better keep out of it. I think we all need to There is no enemy upscale in this in this game. Enemies don't level up with you, so at the start you are very weak, nobody likes you, everybody hates you. But slowly you level up, you develop your character. And slowly you start having your revenge on everybody who beat you, who didn't like you. I wouldn't like to be in his shoes. That though. won't happen again. People are and it's so good. So good. I have spoken to Gorim. You have done one of our brothers a great service. Your cause was just. That's why I've chosen you for a special task. Kor Kalom urgently needs new swamp weed for his experiments. Our gatherers are working day and night. Go to them and take their entire harvest to Kalom's alchemy lab. 
Where exactly can I find the gatherers? I have not yet given you permission to address me. Pray to the sleeper that he may pardon your sacrilege. And now leave. Your mission is of extreme importance. Kalaran sent me. I'm to collect all the swamp weed. Good. Then I don't need to go myself. Here, take it. Don't forget to go to Viren on the other side of the swamp if you haven't been there yet. Otherwise, your lobe might be a bit small and people might think you'd sold the other half of it. <laughs> Who could I sell the weeds to anyway? Uh-oh. Now I've been putting ideas in your head, haven't I? No, tell me. Who? You have something in mind? I'm telling you, if the stuff doesn't arrive at Core Colognes, we'll both be in real trouble. If you know somebody, we could go halves. Well, I'd know somebody in the new camp. He'd be interested in weed. But if the gurus catch you at it, they'll feed you to the swamp sharks. I don't know anything, okay? Okay, who's the buyer in the new camp? You think I'll give you the name and you can just make a run with the weed? <laughs> it doesn't work quite like that. I want to see 50 or as an advance payment. Then we'll see. 50's fair, here you go. I don't see any 50 or. I want 50 or and not a nugget less, okay? Just keep picking hard. Of course, what do you think I'm doing? Rocking my balls? Who are you? I'm the guru, the guru of the swamp. My servants call me Bottleneck Beck. Servants? I don't see any servants. They're everywhere. The trees, they walk and skip and dance. Oh, I see. Well, I'll be on my way then. Wait, you can help me convert this swamp into a massive meadow of flowers. Okay, you just got started. Me? I'll be back later. He's not going to get me anywhere. <laughs> Yeah, man, it's so good. So good. I mean, 
imagine a new game. Imagine a game coming out in 2023 that has a camp dedicated to growing weed. They said in the podcast that they wanted to be as faithful as possible to the original. There is a podcast on YouTube that you can listen to. It's a very good podcast. What is the blue thing? So this is like a prison. In the sky there should be like a barrier thingy. So it's like a magical barrier, and if you try to leave it, you get zapped. What are you doing here? We're picking the swamp weed to be processed by our brothers, so it can be smoked later on. It's quite dangerous to pick it in the swamp, but the stuff only grows here. Actually, that's a good thing. Why? because then the other two camps won't get it. We're the only ones in the colony who are able to pick swamp weed. We can trade it with the other two camps. And we can set the price. <laughs> Balaron sent me. I'm to take the whole harvest to Kalom. You think it's that easy, do you? Anybody could turn up like that. Balaron sent me and whoosh. The whole lot of the weeds were gone. But Balaron really has sent me. Sure. Sure. <laughs> Go see him and ask if you don't believe me. I have a better idea. You prove your loyalty by doing a little job for us. And what do you want me to do? It's really nothing. Work in the swamp. It's a bit risky. And then there's those damn blood flies. Work would be much easier without them. Do you follow? I don't see any more blood flies anywhere. But there are some more blood flies within 20 paces. You won't get off that easily. I'll come back later to do this quest. I still have other stuff to do anyway. Yeah, the reason why Barrier is not visible, I think it's because of DirectX 11 mod. I'm not sure if there's any way to fix it. 
I doubt that's ever happen. Happen. Let's see, where is that? Is that it? I remember turning that off. There we go. Thank you. Thank you. There it is. There's the barrier. I remember turning that off in the second game. There's the barrier. Amazing. Thank you. like to see gothic 3 menu in all games isn't there a union mod that does that A friend played this game recently for the first time and he had a way different inventory in the game. There's the guard called Neck. 
we had a quest to find him. You know that by reading the amulet. Check out the Union plugins, there's a bunch for this game. There's controller support, all kinds of UI changes. I wouldn't even use DirectX 11. I mean, the game does look better, but I use it mainly because of OBS. Do I have any stutters? Do you see them on the stream? Uh, I don't have any stutters in game. Disabling Steam overlay helped a bit. Uh, no, this is on GOG. This is a GOG version and I don't use any overlays. But... Uh, uh, this is not the only game that has issues with overlays. Many games have issues. And disabling Steam overlay, GOG overlay... Even Discord overlay can help a lot. Discord also has an overlay, which makes the games, game, many games stutter. Hey, you! Who? Me? No, your grandmother. Who else could I mean? I wouldn't go down that way if I were you. Why not? You can't have been here long. Man, that's the way to the Orc land. They'll make mincemeat out of you. Oh. You're welcome! So this is a GOG version with a Union patch. Before Union patch you had like 1.08k patch, a player kit and system pack. I used to use that before. But now it's only a GOG version with Union and DirectX 11. One thing that you might want to do... I like... Wait, why is this off? DirectX 11 mod. And you want to have V-Sync and limit the FPS to at least 60. 60. Because uh, game engine behaves really weird if you have it above 60. Maybe that's why you get stutters. Because your FPS is uncapped. you i don't think i've seen you here before no wonder i've only just got here then watch out the outside world is pretty dangerous you're only safe inside a camp There's a guard I can deliver the quest to. You see this? Let 
Let me try to turn it off. You see how the... You see how I'm pushed back when I grab? You see that? Let me do it here. You see that? Do, do, do. That's all because of uncapped FPS. Sometimes the character might not even want to grab ledges because of high FPS. Some other animations can also bug out. But yeah, there were a couple of ledges that I couldn't grab that I wanted to climb and I couldn't. He just wouldn't grab them. He would just jump and that's it. All because of uncapped FPS. It's about Neck. Yeah? I think I've found him. What? Where is he? Feeding the rats. Oh, no. Damn it. That means I have to run the show here now. I was hoping he'd be coming back. Now I have a problem. What's the problem? I'm in debt to Scatty, right up to my neck. Now he knows I'm doing Neck's job. He'll be coming around every day. I haven't shown this mechanic yet. I have lots of raw meat. And on the pan... I can just spam up time when would have gone and fry it quickly. Grilled meat. I thought that it it gives me 15 health, while the raw meat gives me 10. Listen, this running around is really getting tiring. Shouldn't we look for a cozy place and get comfy somewhere? I doubt that... I have the things you wanted from me. Good. I just have to add them. Then the stew will be ready. Wait. But yeah, in the podcast, they said they want to include the original music composer in the remake. You're like a big brother to me. I never had a big brother. Or a small one. My parents didn't want me. But I'm sure it was difficult for them. Sure it was. They want to keep the game as original. Or at least that's what I got from it. You told me and I could have as true. much stew as I Here, wanted. Take three portions. You told me I could have as much stew sure, as I wanted. But there's nothing left today. Come back tomorrow. These dialogues. Where are you from? You must be happy as well that you finally found somebody who understands you. I'm from Karinas. Have you ever been there? <laughs> well, it doesn't matter anyway. I'm not skipping these dialogues. I don't know why they get skipped like that. Hey you! Aren't you the guy who wants to join the camp? What if I am? I can help you. There are two guys sitting around outside the camp. One of them has stolen something from the ore barons. It's a precious amulet, which should have arrived with the last convoy. 
one of them should still be in possession of the amulet. If we attack them together, we should manage. I couldn't do it on my own. What do you say? Uh, not yet. You shouldn't believe everything you hear. What will happen when we have the amulet? I'll return it and get the reward. I'll tell them you helped me. Then you'll be in Gomez's good books for sure. Maybe. Keep it to yourself. No, it's either 50-50 okay, or you can okay. do it on your own. 50 50 I suppose it'll be enough for the two of us anyway. So, can I count on you? Same old story every time. Count me in. All right, just tell me when we can start. Maybe. Not yet, not yet. Have you got something to eat for me? Since I'm some sort of visitor, it'd be polite if you gave me something. That's matters. My friends in Karina's taught me that. They really liked me. There must be something about that story after all. I doubt that's ever likely to change. Probably right. Maybe you think. I found Nick. Good. Have you got any evidence for that? I found this amulet on him. Here you go. It was actually the amulet the whole thing was about. You're a clever guy. You might have had the idea to keep the amulet yourself, but you've made the right decision. If Diego asks me about you, I'll vote in your favor. Who can teach me? Start with Fingers. He's the most skillful among us. If you keep your eyes peeled, you'll find other people who can teach you. Where can I find Fingers? His hut's kind of hidden. It's next to the castle wall. Just start out here and go towards the arena. When you're at the castle gate, go down to the left and you'll be heading for the arena. Can you teach me something? Yes. I can teach you to improve your dexterity or your strength. Okay, I need strength at least 22. And dexterity 3 at least. Your strength has increased a lot. Your skills in using the bow and the crossbow have improved. Come back soon. There are many things you need to learn. Take care. You think anybody's ever gonna visit us? Probably not. They wouldn't get out of here again, would they? Now I can carry this. And this. Take care. So let me increase all of this. Update all. Quality. Let's get that quality, man. There we go. I want to become a shadow. So? Can you help me? I wouldn't know how. I'm looking for somebody to teach me something. Why have you come to me? Diego sent me. You should have said that before. If you want to join the camp, it's an advantage to be a good fighter or a thief. If the influential shadows in this camp test you, they'll give you tasks you better not get caught doing. That's why the way of the thief would be a good start to you. Incidentally, I'm the best thief in the whole of the old camp. Oh, which one did which ones did you get, man? What can you teach me? And that depends on what you want to know. Open locks would be good at least.
What can you t yeah. And I can ask about this. I want to learn how to sneak around. I believe, no false modesty, that I'm one of the best thieves they ever chucked into this colony. But when it comes to teaching how to sneak around, Cavalorn is the better man for you. Oh, Phobia, nice! Where can I find Cavalorn? He's hunting out in the wild. You'll find him at the path to the new camp. Westwards of the old camp, there's a wide canyon. In this canyon, there's an old woodcutter's hut. You'll find him there. Now that you're with me, we can show a few people where to go. These bastards have been harassing me for years. When I see one of them now, I'm gonna tell them a few things. <laughs> Hey, you! Hey, you! Hey! Get out of here! You're learning fast. So I can choose to fight him or let's go to the new camp. Let's go to the new camp. Okay, follow me. By going to the new camp, he will show us the new camp and we will get rid of him for the Thoris. I love it. It's it's so cozy. this soundtrack
Wait, 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 wait. Oh well, I tried. That's a wolf. Watching TV and buying everyone. Cody. You're buying everyone? Well, here we are. When you pass through the gate, you'll reach the new camp. Talk to Lara's. He will help you. Give this to him. It's a precious ring. It's your ticket to see Lara's. You need a good reason to be allowed to meet him. Well, thinking about it, I think I'll stay here for some time. I've earned enough for now, and things are heating up in the old camp. If you want, come and meet me at the bar. It's the hut out on the lake. Take care. See you. Hello? Hi, I'm new here. So what? What are you doing? What's it look like? I'm smoking. <laughs> if you think I'll let you have a drag, forget it. Aren't you going to try and stop me? Ask me what or something. Nah, that's too much trouble for me. Besides, someone like you won't do much damage in there. What's it like inside? Like always. Calm, just a couple of brawls. I love that. Hi, I'm new here. So, who cares? <laughs> I love watching first playthroughs of this game and this upcoming quest i love watching people do it hey just arrived we need somebody to take some water to the peasants in the rice fields this way you can make friends with a few people what do you think sure i'll be glad to help great go to the rice lord it give you the water and tell you everything you need to know. You take care of the rice fields, don't you? 
Why? You looking for work? Lefty sent me. Oh yeah? What did he say? I'm to bring the peasants some water. Right. Here's a dozen bottles of water. There's about twice that amount of peasants. So make sure you share it out evenly. How's it going? There's a lot of work. We need a lot of rice to feed all these people. Is there anything I should know about this place? Be careful at the camp, boy. A lot of cutthroats hang out there, just waiting to lay their hands on a newcomer like you. Do you have a leader? Well, you could say the Rice Lord's our leader. But most of us only work for him because they're scared of him and his thugs. Not like me. Well, I've been around a few years, and I've had enough of being knocked around by the rogues in the camp. The rice fields are just right for me. Lefty sent me. I've brought you some water. Thanks, boy. I needed that. Lefty sent me. I brought you some water. Thanks, man. My mouth's like a desert. You okay? What do you want? Did the Rice Lord send you? I'm already working as hard as I can. Nobody sent me. I just want to talk. What are you doing here? You looking for trouble? Hey, relax. I'm a newcomer. Huh? You look okay, though. You never know. You get new guys come along thinking they're it every day. What's a man like you doing with the peasants? Lee asked me that. I don't fight anymore, except to defend myself. How did it happen? It was just an ordinary bar fight. I didn't mean to kill the guy. I just must have hit him too hard. I was a blacksmith at the time. I didn't know my own strength. Why did you join this camp? I'll tell you. My only option was to join those cyclones, and I didn't want to let those gurus of theirs mess about with my brain. In the old camp, I'd have had too much trouble with the guards. But the mercenaries and rogues do have some respect. They're afraid of you? Maybe. Anyway, I found peace here. And you should try the same. Can you teach me to be as strong as you are? Even if I could, what would you use your strength for? Self-defense. That takes speed, not strength. Do you think cracking skulls is better than finding peace? to teach these bastards how to talk to me properly. And before you knew it, you'd become another of those bastards yourself. No, sir, I'm not training you for that. Lefty sent me. I've brought you some water. Thanks, man. I was just about to start drinking the mud. So I need to find a reason for him to teach me. And that will happen soon. Lefty sent me. I've brought you some water. Thanks, man. A bit longer and I'd have started drinking mud. Lefty sent me. I've brought you some water. Thanks, boy. I needed that. No, it's not. Lefty sent me. I brought you some water. Thanks, man. A bit longer and I'd have started drinking mud.
Lefty sent me. I've brought you some water. Thanks, man. A bit longer and I'd have started drinking mud. Lefty sent me. I brought you some water. Thanks, man. My mouth's like a desert. Lefty sent me. I brought you some water. Thanks, man. Lefty sent me. I've brought you some water. Thanks, boy. I needed that. Lefty sent <sighs> Thank. Hey, you! Lefty sent me. I've brought you some water. Thanks, boy. Hi. I'm new here. It's good to see a fresh face. You must have been here a long time, huh? Damn right, boy. Hey, I was one of the first. In that case, you must know a lot about this place. So-so. Mm, I spend most of my time out here just picking rice. That's what let me get so old. We get some rice and the odd snaps. That's not much, but that's enough. Why are you here? Taxes, boy, taxes. My shed was as empty as my stomach, and I just couldn't pay. So one day the soldiers came and brought me here, but it's no worse in here than it is out there. At least I won't starve in here. I always paid my taxes before, all my life. But that wasn't good enough for that son of a bitch with a crown. Hi, I'm new here. I just wanted to know what goes on around here. Ask someone else, will ya? I do nothing but work out here in the fields. I don't know nothing. Man, I'd love to tell the Rice Lord to do his own damn dirty work. If you don't like it, why are you working here? It happened the first day I got here. Lefty. One of the thugs that works for the Rice Lord came up to me and asked if I could lend a hand in the rice fields. Sure, I said. I was new here and I wanted to make myself useful. The next day, when I was taking a short rest, the guy turned up again. You don't want to let all your colleagues do all their work by themselves, do you? he asked. I told him I was exhausted from the previous day's work that I needed a rest and all that. But he never listened. He grabbed me by the collar and dragged me back to the field. From that day on, he stood outside my doorstep every day until I got used to going on my own. I didn't want any trouble with those guys. They're real cutthroats. You'd better steer clear of them. Who is the Rice Lord? He was one of the first to arrive here. He helped found the camp and start up the rice fields. These days he just hangs out at the warehouse stretching his stomach, the fat pig. Can you spoil the game to me? Hey, you! Well done! You're useful for something after all. I think this is exactly the right task for you. 
from now on, you do it every day. Go on with it right now. Are you looking for something? I'm looking for leaks in the dam. I reckon there's a lurker gnawing at the foundations. The beast grinds its teeth and claws against the stones and wooden beams underwater. If it carries on, the whole dam will soon be undermined. Is there anything I can do to help? Sure, stop that beast from gnawing at my dam. Where can I find the beast? I'd hunt round on the other side of the lake. Nobody ever goes there. That's probably where its den is. Did you build the dam? Yes, I built the dam back when we founded the new camp. Of course everyone helped, but I was the master builder. And where do you want to go? Why, in there? Forget it. Silas only wants to see scrapers and rogues in his bar. If you think. I'm a scraper, and I'm thirsty. You look like one of those filthy rats. Come on in. Maybe. How's the schnapps business going? Go in and ask Silas. We can't complain. I think here I can show one mechanic that I love about this game. Yes, guys, another mechanic that I love. But I'm gonna have to cheat for that, okay? Okay? I'm gonna turn on cheats. I'm gonna possess this guy. I'm gonna throw his axe. As you can see, his axe is named... Has his name. Okay. Let's take the axe. It requires 40 strength. Okay. Now. I'm gonna cheat to get some strength. have to watch what you tell people. I wouldn't like to be in his shoes, though. Don't mind me, Chad. Don't mind me. Maybe. Some people never. So now I can equip the axe because I cheated my strength. Now check this out. Check this unique mechanic in the game. Just give me my weapon back, you joker. I warned you. If you touch my stuff, you're in trouble. I'm not listening to. Ah, a fight! NPCs in this game recognize if you take their weapon and carry it around. And they will get mad for it. That is so cool. So cool. Turning off cheats. Reloading. Maybe. My strength is back at 22. So don't panic, guys. Don't panic. Maybe. It's all good. People always talk. Are you really the magician's courier? What if I am? I'd like to have a chance to talk to the magicians. I have to get inside the castle. The magician's couriers bear seals, which allow them entry to the castle. If you were one of us, you could get such a seal. That won't happen again. I better that keep out. That was very clever. You're from the Free Mine, right? 
Right. How'd you find that out? Some people never. I just want to talk to you. I'm not here to talk. I wouldn't like to be in his shoes, though. Rely on somebody, and you're in trouble. That's how it goes. I just want to talk to you. I'm not here to talk. How are things? Great. We trade our homemade rice snaps for ore. Well, the boys carry in enough ore. Where should they spend it if not here? I want a drink. You'll have to pay for it. Let's talk about something else instead. Must be something. What are you doing? I'm making rice snaps, boy. Here, have a bottle, but don't tell Silas. How's the distillery going? I can hardly keep up with these guys. Man, can they drink. That's a good thing, really. While I'm busy, the rice lord's lap dogs leave me alone. How's the distillery going? I can hardly keep up with these guys. Man, can they drink. That's a good thing, really. While I'm busy, the rice lord's lap dogs leave me alone. What can you tell me about the rice lord? He's a damn swine. His thugs pick on the weak and force them to work in the fields. Well, the only one who could stand up to him is Horatio, but uh, he doesn't do violence. Well, I did once hear him say he'd love to smash the rice lord's head in, but uh, he'd never really do it. I had to go against his beliefs. And this is the hint we need for Horatio. For him to teach us. Same old story every time. Rely on somebody. You don't look very happy. I'm not. I need to get rid of a whole pile of weed. You're here to sell goods from the sect camp? Yes. But I just can't be bothered. Let's talk about something else instead. I could sell the weed for you for a consideration, of course. Forget it. I'm not as drunk as all that. You just go running away with it. Here you go. Have another drink on me. Thanks, man. I'll drink to your health. Sure thing, man. You're from the sect camp, aren't you? We call it the Brotherhood. I'm Baal Kagan. The sleep will be with you. What are you doing here? Originally, I was sent here to convince people to join our Brotherhood. But these barbarians are not interested in spiritual enlightenment. Therefore, I'm restricted to selling swamp weed. And that is a popular occupation here. Too popular. I can already deliver as much as they want to have. Why don't they send an extra man here? Bal Isidro was meant to help me, but he just spends all day in the bar on the lake and trades his wheat for rice schnapps. He's addicted to the spirit. I fear I cannot expect any help from him. I could help you sell your weed to the people. I can only entrust such a large amount of weed to members of the Brotherhood. But you could help me give out gifts. Not everybody has tasted my goods yet. As soon as they've tried the weed, they'll want more, which means I can sell more. I thought you could hardly manage to do your tasks now. Bala Sidro will be taken care of soon. I've already sent a message to Korakalam. What's in it for me if I hand out the weed for you? I can reward you in many different ways. You can get magic spell scrolls from me, bearing the powerful magic of the sleeper. Or I can help you join our community if that's what you want. I have very good contacts to Korakalam and Baal Tion. 
Both are very close to E. Baryon, our master. I can pay you with plain ore as well if you prefer. A hundred nuggets should be enough for your efforts. Okay, give me the weed. Who do you want me to give it to? You're sure to find someone who'll take it. Talk to people, but only give one stalk to each person. Uh, one more thing. If you let somebody take the weed from you or if you smoke it yourself, our deal ceases to exist. Sure. Now where are you going? Where can I go? To Laris. But keep it to yourself. People don't need to know it. I want to see Laris. I doubt he'll talk to you. Just you leave that to me. I won't stop you. Can I see Laris? Sort that out with Roscoe. Where do you want to go? I want to meet Laris. Laris is here. But you need a good reason to disturb him. Mordrag sent me. Mordrag hasn't been seen here for some time. He's probably changed over to the old camp. I came here with him. Mordrag's back? If you meet him, tell him Lares wants to see him. Mordrag gave me something for Laris. What is it? A ring. Certainly a precious piece. Okay, you can see him. I want to join your gang. Oh yeah? What have you got to show for yourself then? Mordrag sent me. He gave me a ring for you. A precious piece. It's part of normal procedure here to share your booty with your gang leader. But the fact that he gave you the ring proves that he must think a lot of you. I want you to go to him and tell him something from me. Tell him I want somebody in the sect camp. The Brotherhood is planning something big. I want to know exactly what's going on there. Is that enough for me to join you? Mordrag has spoken up for you, but you're not ready yet. Do your tasks. What else can I do? Bal Isidro from the sect camp has weed worth at least 400 ore on him. I want you to get it from him. I don't care how you do it. If you have the weed, sell it. Bring me the 400 ore. Then we'll talk again to see if you'll be admitted to the gang. Where can I learn something? With me? I can help you to improve your dexterity and strength. So this guy is paid to win. Hey, how's it going? Do you want to buy something? I need a few things. I should start selling some stuff because I need money. I don't think I mentioned this before, but uh, using A and D to transfer items will transfer 
a stack of 10 using Q and E will transfer one by one. How's it going? And what do you want? I want to know more about this camp. Then go on in. Take a look around. So long as you're not one of Gomez's men, no one will stop you. Who calls the shots around here? Leads the head of the mercenaries, if that's what you mean. I'm no mercenary, and I'm damned if I'll let them boss me around. What do I have to do to join the camp? Go out into the fields and help the peasants collect the rice. You look like you could do with some swamp weed. You got some? I'll have a stalk for ten or <laughs> come back any time, brother. You look like you could do with some swamp weed. You got some? I'll have a stalk for ten or. <laughs> Come back any time, brother. I love this quest. So good. So good. You look like you could do with some swamp weed. You got some? I'll have a stalk for ten or. <laughs> Come back any time, brother. I have some swamp weed here. Do you want some? Sure. Here's ten or. Come by again when you get some more, will ya? You don't look very agile. I could help you. I can show you how to control your body. It's the art of acrobatics. Ten skill points. I don't need that yet. You look like you could do with some swamp weed. You got some? I'll have a stalk for ten or. <laughs> Come back any time, brother. I have some swamp weed here. Do you want some? Sure. Here's ten or. Come by again when you get some more, will ya? We're gonna get a bow here. You've come to the right address for that. I offer good value for good ore. Who are you? I'm Wolf. I make armor. I'd like to learn how to handle a bow. I can teach you, but I can't do it as a favor. After all, I have to eat as well. How much? Anything I teach you will cost you 50 ore. I don't haggle. I'm looking for better armor. I can't sell you anything. Lairs would kill me if I sold armor to strangers. Do you trade in anything else? I buy furs and skins from the hunters. If you get something like that, I'll buy it. How do I get furs and skins? On the way to the new camp, you'll come across Aiden. He can teach you how to skin animals. Radford and Drax are hanging around in the north of the old camp. It's on the way to the trading square. Step aside! Well, there was a time when things would have gone very differently. It's not literally my problem. Do you want me to beat it into your brain? Get out of here! Step aside. There was a time when things would be Maybe. very differently. Do you want me to beat it into your brain? Get out of here. Greetings, magician. May the blessing of Adonis be with you. I can help you to increase your magic powers or give you some useful items. What can I do for you? 
I have a letter for the High Magician of the Circle of Fire. We are the Magicians of the Circle of Water. The Magicians of the Circle of Fire live in the Old Cap. But I can't get into the castle. Could you help me? Well, occasionally we send messengers to our brothers in the Old Camp. But we only entrust these messages to Lara's men. He's been seeing to it for many years now that our messengers arrive safely. You want to destroy the barrier. How exactly do you plan to do that? We need major amounts of magic ore. We'll release the entire magic power and a great magic rite to blow up the barrier. Of course, such a big amount of ore attracts a lot of rogues and crooks. That's why we need a man to defend our plan. I'd like to join you. If you want to join us, you should see Lee or Laris. I'd like to become a magician. We cannot afford to spread our knowledge among our enemies. We will not even consider instructing you unless you prove your loyalty to us. I need more magic power. I can help you to increase your power. Use it wisely. I want to acquire magic writings. Words of the gods. Step aside. Nah, man, there was no bloom back in the day. I love the design in this cave, how mercenaries and rogues live on different sides of the cave. Do you want some swamp weed? Sure I do. Here's ten ore. If you get your hands on any more, you know... Do you want some swamp weed? Sure I do. Here's ten ore. If you get your hands on any more, you know... I have some swamp weed here. Do you want any? Why not? I'll give Maybe. you ten ore for Let's it. Talk about go and ask some of the other guys. They're bound to want some too. Hang on. Better not to go rushing into anything. Why on some... Who are you? I'm Torloff. I was involved in a mutiny as mate of a royal warship. It wasn't such a good idea. The greater part of the crew was on the captain's side. And that's how I came to be here. I'd like to join you. Lee won't take you on until you get real good. I'm telling you now. And until then, you'd better stay on good terms with Laris and his crowd. You want some advice, boy? Steal something important from the old camp. Or the old mine. As soon as the boys notice that you're against Gomez, you won't have any more trouble here. And how do I do that? You need to win their trust, and then you can rip them off. Do you want some swamp weed? Sure I do. Here's ten ore. If you get your hands on any more, you know... Hey, a new face. Who are you? I am Gorn, mercenary of the magicians. What do you have to do as a mercenary of the magicians? Lee has made a deal with the magicians. He hires the best fighters to be found in the colony, which means us. We take care that the scrapers can mine the ore without being bothered and keep trouble away from the magicians. The magicians make sure we'll get out of here, and we get a small share of the ore as our pay. Can I stay somewhere here without having to kick somebody out of his hut? I don't think so. But if that's really what you want to do, go and see Shrike. He's taken the hut right at the front, at the entrance to the cave. It was empty, but it really belonged to us. Us? 
Well, us mercenaries. Mercenaries and rogues live separately here, and none of Laris's gang should be here, on this side of the big hall. It doesn't make much difference, really, but he didn't ask. And you can't let those rogues get away with everything, because then they get real cocky. What do I have to do to join the new camp? Before Lee admits you, you'll have to improve your fighting skills. It doesn't matter what weapon you use, but you have to be good. Besides, you should be very experienced with the life here and everything. If you don't want to go to the other camps, you should try to join the rogues before you start as a mercenary. See you later. Do you want some swamp weed? Sure I do. Here's ten ore. If you get your hands on any more, you know... How's it going? As always, making sure that no one gets too close to the mages and the ore. What can you tell me about this camp? Watch out while you're here. There are a lot of cutthroats around in the camp. We have a number of unwritten laws here. One, only the mercenaries can enter the mages' zone. Two, you try to get anywhere near the ore mound, you're a dead man. Three, don't try to get into the bar on the lake. You see, that's the rogues' bar, and they don't like new kids like you showing up there. Do you need another good man? We won't have anyone join the mercenaries unless they've been here for years and have had a lot of experience. If you want to stay in the camp, you'll have to get to grips with the rogues first. I have some swamp weed here. Do you want any? Why not? I'll give you ten ore for it. Go and ask some of the other guys. They're bound to want some too. Maybe. I better keep out of it. I have some swamp weed here. Do you want any? Why not? I'll give you ten ore for it. Go and ask some of the other guys. Do you want some swamp weed? Get me some! Oh, out of weed. Yeah, that guy made a good point about the bar on the lake, this bar. The reason why they let me in is because I have Digger's address, which I got for free. I've shared out the weed. The first new customers have already been to see me. You've done a good job. What will you have as a reward? Now, the way I like to play these games is that I like to get the favor of, of all camps. Then I like to make a hard save and then probably play as all camps by joining all camps. If I wasn't planning that, or if I didn't play the game like that, I would only do the favors for one camp, and then just try to take the money from other camps, but... I want the favors of everyone. Tell me to join the Brotherhood. Your request is modest. I'll help you, so listen to me. Baal Tion is one of the lower gurus, just like myself. E. Baryon has made him one of his advisors, that has not done him any good. He now thinks he's so important that he'll talk to nobody but his disciples. If you give him this here, it'll loosen his tongue. So let's see, what did he give me? Where is it? Prepared dream call. Swamp weed with a stronger effect than a normal weed. This weed is so strong.
<laughs> that it puts you to sleep immediately. It's so good. <laughs> but we need that one for the quest. And yes, you can use the quest item and basically waste it. Use it, waste it, sell it. I want to improve my handling of one-handed weapons. Of course, it'll cost you though. I want 30 ore. Level 2 is 50 ore. Do I have a favorite camp? I like all of them. Hang on. People are... Story after ah, all. you're probably right. That wasn't very clear. That's really not my problem. I'll tell you something. You have a problem. Bal Kagan will make sure you'll be replaced. What? The sleeper have mercy on me. I need to get rid of this stuff. That's not really my problem. Show me here. Doubt it's ever likely to change. Yeah, involved. I wouldn't want to be in his shoes. He should have believed everything in time. Think about it. Give me the weed and we'll share the profit. Oh man, I need to get rid of this stuff. You wouldn't try to make me look like a fool, would you? I give you my word. Good. Here's this stuff. You should get at least 400 ore for it. That would be 200 for each of us. I'll be waiting here. Come back as soon as you have the ore. Do you know who will take bigger amounts here? If I knew that, I would have gone myself. I feel much better now that I'm rid of this stuff. That wasn't very clever. I thought that had been cleared up ages ago. I sold the weed. And my 200 ore? Here it is. Good. Let's now I don't give a damn about Bal Kagan anymore. <laughs> it was a good idea to do business with you. Show me what you have. Here. So I can sell uh, him the weed. It's obvious that there'd be trouble ahead. But keep it to yourself. People don't need to know it. Maybe. You shouldn't believe that everything. You can move a 100 stack by holding shift Rely and then pressing D. Trouble. That not go rush into anything. So there's also that. Rely on somebody. Shift A or shift D moves 100. If you think I thought that had been cleared up ages ago. Um, that won't happen again. Okay, I have decent amount of money now. I'm not gonna pay Laris yet. Because I can do... I can do more stuff. And I also got the level. How are things? Get lost! <laughs> hey! Hey you! Bazaar! Hey you! Bazaar! Lucky for you, but I would have enjoyed polishing your mug. <laughs> Hi! Get lost!
boring fight. The fight's been decided. Look at all that loot. You won't have much time to be sorry for it. You looking for trouble with me again? Look at his mouth if you can see it. It's trembling. He's so scared now. Get lost. I'll talk to you later. That wasn't very clever. Maybe. Shrike has moved to another hut. Good. Torloff just told me that he wanted to have a word with the guy. See you later. Really not my problem. Hang on. Better not go rushing into anything. Okay, there's one quest I can go get to the left. There's no need for that yet. avoid lefty for now because he'll be mad as long as you have to watch what you tell I wouldn't want to be in his shoes maybe let's talk about something else instead I've been thinking the whole thing over and have you thought of anything better yes I want to be able to take on the rice lord and his thugs ah you wouldn't be the first to try. I will defeat the Rice Lord and his thugs, if you help me. Good. I've sworn I'll never attack anyone again, but I never said I wouldn't teach anyone else to do it. I'm all ears. If you want to hit powerfully, you need to know the right tactics. That's the first thing you learn as a smith. Learn to push your whole arm through, from the shoulder down to the wrist. The better you get at that, the more powerful the blow. You'll get the hang of it pretty quick. Thanks for your help. Use your knowledge for a just cause, and for nothing else. Will you get mad? No. What are you doing here? I'm a hunter. I make a living out of selling skins and teeth. Does it pay? 
If you know how to cut up the beast the right way, yeah. I want to learn how to cut up animals. What do you want to know? All of this is worth it so much. How do I get the teeth? The most important thing is to make sure the teeth don't splinter. To avoid that, put your knife near the center of the tooth and lever it out carefully. You can take the teeth of wolves, shadow beasts, and snappers. How can I skin these creatures? It's very important to skin them from the front to the back. Once you get the hang of it, it'll be easy. Furs are very valuable. The furs of wolves and shadow beasts can be used to make clothes. When you examine the fur of a killed animal, you'll soon notice if it can be used or not. Show me how to take off the claws. Actually, it's quite simple if you know what to do. Bend the claws forward, never backwards. And you mustn't pull them out either. Lizard's claws are especially useful. From now on, you'll know which creature's claws to take. I want to see some ore first. Like I said, everything has its price. What are you doing out here? I'm a hunter. Above all, I hunt scavengers. Where will I get a bow? Here. I sell the best bows in the old camp. Show me your goods. He has 200 ore.
And now... I want to learn... What do you want to... I'm done. What do I have to observe while skinning reptiles? The only reptiles suited for this purpose are lurkers and swamp sharks. If you slit the skin at the sides, it'll peel off by itself. From now on, you should be able to skin reptiles. I'll take my money back. Thank you, sir. You won't have much time to be sorry. We friends? You looking for trouble with me again? We friends. I can give you some weed. Combination was left and right. Eleven scale points. Better not stay here. The orc land starts behind that barricade. Is it dangerous? Let me put it like this. You may as well give me all your ore before you go out there and let the orcs rip you to ribbons. I think it might be best if I just turn back. Pity. I'd have loved to take care of your ore. Next time. Classic. Fisher, what's up? 
Need sneak. What are you doing here? Don't often get visitors up here. <laughs> Very clever of you to find my hiding place. What are you doing here? Oh, I'm fed up with the old camp. I had trouble with Gomez's folks. That was some time ago. I guess nobody remembers that now. But I'm staying here. There's too many blockheads running about in the old camp for my liking. What are you doing here? Oh, I'm fed up with... I guess nobody rem... I need to learn... Lock picking. So it's right, left, left, right. That guy in the cave, he was probably part of the cut content. At this point, you only get XP for finding him. Now these guys... Oh, he's had enough! Yeah, I love the burbs. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, so now... That won't happen again. Let's talk about something. This guy mentioned an amulet. Like to be an issue. And that we can go and get it together. Same Let's go. Over you every time. I better keep out of it. I'm ready to go with you. Let's get the amulet. Okay, let's do it then. It was up. People always. I better keep out. They gotta watch what you tell people. So, here we are, far away from your friend Diego. I'm to send you regards from Bloodvin. Now here's what, what was supposed to happen. He's meant to ambush me with the two dudes that were just standing here. But, because I... Because I smashed their You'll heads already, they just ran away. Because <laughs> they're scared of me now. They already took a beating from me. And they ran away. Otherwise, if you don't beat them, all three of them will attack you. So, you idiot, just wanted to trap me. Hey, man, we're sitting in the same boat. I am not into digging in the mines either, so I'll do what the guards tell me. Then I'll be accepted soon. That I should whack you of all people is your own fault, really. Why did you have to start a bloody fight with the guards? Personally, I don't dislike you. So what do you think? Peace or further fighting? Peace sounds good. I'm glad we see eye to eye on this. Let's forget about it. From now on, I'm on your side. If you ever have trouble again, you can count on me. I owe you some after all. And this is the second guy that attacked me because I didn't pay money to Bloodwind, the guard that's patrolling on the right side here. That's why I don't pay him. Because you can get more events. That's amazing. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, he's waiting there. Let's try it one more time. Uh, yeah, you can do it. Yeah. So, here we are. Far away from your friend Diego. I'm to send you regards from Bloodvin. You'll be sorry for that. You've given me a fair thrashing, man. Twas a good fight. 
but now it's over. So, you idiot, just wanted to trap me. Hey, man, we're sitting in the same boat. I am not into digging in the mines either, so I'll do what the guards tell me. Then I'll be accepted soon. That I should whack you, of all people, is your own fault, really. Why did you have to start a bloody fight with the guards? Personally, I don't dislike you. So what do you think? Peace or further fighting? Peace sounds good. I'm glad we see eye to eye on this. Let's forget about it. From now on, I'm on your side. If you ever have trouble again, you can count on me. I owe you some, after all. Yeah, they're attacking me because of the... Because of these two. Okay. Okay. It's fine. enough <laughs> let's go now they won't run away so I'm just you'll be sorry for that <laughs> They're just chilling now. You'll be sorry for that. You've given me a fair... Th so you... Hey, man. So that I should... Personally, I don't dis... P I'm... If you... I mean, normally he gets you here and you have to fight all three of them at the same time. But because I fought them before, because I knew what was coming. As long as is I'm it broken now? No, no. It's all good. Like, those are all mechanics that interact with each other. They were running away from me, and that's why the guards probably attacked me. Because the guards were just defending them. That's why I love the game, because it's sandboxy like that and many things can happen. Same old story every time. I doubt that they're alive in the chain. 